So a variety of meetings here today discussing and working on how do we display soil health data better and how do we monitor improvements in our soil. So what we're doing is we're, we're building a data tool um, called Senior Management that is going to be able to help us to track that data over time and help us to monitor sustainability starting with the soil. And, and that's where true sustainability begins anyway is being sustainable by sequestering carbon out of the atmosphere and keeping it in the soil or being more sustainable by improving nutrient efficiencies or being more sustainable by encouraging biological activity and biological growth. Um, we're able to monitor those things with soil data. And now we're evaluating how do we monitor those changes over time uh, to help to provide that data for the farm um, to be able to show the consumer that wants a more sustainable product that here is our progress that we're making, here is the improvements um, that we are implementing on the farm, not just that we are utilizing cover crops or reducing tillage or we're using stabilizers or new products or whatever, but here's the real soil data and here's, the, here's really what's going on in the soil. Um, might cue in a little bit of a meeting with Soil Nerd um, that we're going to have here today as well. Um, and they're doing some similar kind of things. We'll see what we've got going on uh, with them. But just building tools, building more resources to be able to help our growers and define sustainability with independent data that starts with the soil. And uh, then we're able to tap that data into any of these other emerging data tools and sustainability platforms. We've got the soil piece to be able to tie into all that. Um, so he would definitely be my guy for the organic space. I don't have as much um, experience in organic, um, but it's the same kind of data tools and whatnot, like exactly what you guys are using and what we use on conventional farms. Um, the same process is still aligned in terms of balancing out that soil, and but the tools that you have at your disposal are just different than a conventional farmer has. Um, so in our area, in order to make that work, there's not a ton of large-scale organic um, in our area. There's more and more of it coming, of course, um, but a lot of guys that are still using a lot of synthetic additives, um, there's a lot of guys with hog manure in this area though as well. So now we could utilize hog manure instead um, or other forms of manure. There's a lot of different manure available um, and then be able to wean ourselves off of the synthetic fertilizers that are being used. Um, but like you guys are seeing, you know, it's just how do you get that transition process to work the right way.